YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deidre Alex Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, so smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we give it up here on this channel. We rocking with positivity for sure. All right, so um, today we got um, I got five fragrances here that I don't really see too much conversation about them in the community. I've they, they've been talked about, of course, before, um, but there's not a steady conversation about these fragrances, and I think they're kind of underrated. So I got five underrated fragrances to consider uh, for the winter uh, season, and um, I think these are all good gets, and um, they bring a lot to the table for sure. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, all right? So up first, from the house of Tumi, which is a lot of people are talking about Tumi, including myself right now, all right? Tumi has released some really dope uh, fragrances over the past year or so. And um, they're starting to kind of pick up steam on a regular basis here in the fragrance community. And uh, rightfully so. But this is the one that got a little hot start when it released. And I just don't see it uh, talked about a lot. So I think it is underrated in the community. From the House of Tumi, we have Continuum. We have Continuum, all right? Now when this first released, I did hear quite a bit about it. And then it kind of, died out and i don't know why because this is a really good fragrance you definitely get this uh spicy somewhat smoky uh fragrance that has some iris in it as well um there's a a, a very woodsy present especially as you get down to the mid in the dry down this leans a, a very much so masculine um so um I, I wouldn't deem this unisex but a to each its own if you feel like you could rock it and rock it but this right here is dark it's bold um it will cut through the cold air um this is one that i'm dressed up not necessarily dressed down to be too casual with it because it does get darker um there's a smoky presence about it as it continues to develop and uh, just all in all it's one of those it's one of those fragrances that i consider a gem uh, uh in the community so uh Tumi has a really nice lineup of fragrances out there a couple really dope releases in the last year but this is one that I feel should be talked about uh, a lot more than it is, and I deemed it very underrated in the community for sure. Something to consider for the winter 2023-2024 uh, season. From the house of Toomey, once again, we have Continuum. Continuum. The bottle's so dark as clash with my light, but uh, y'all can see it, <laughs> all right? All right, up next, from the house of Victor and Rolf, one that it's a shame that no one talks about this fragrance. It's a shame, but this stuff is just that good. From the house of Victor and Rolf, we have Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. Night Vision EDP. Now listen, to me, this one does its thing um, before you get to the infrared uh, line uh, here, but this one does its own thing. Now, is it as spicy as the original and extreme? No. Is it spice present? Yes. But you get all the notes in here, man. You get pistachio note here this comes off a little bit nuttier um there's a fruity sweetness to this as well um this does a lot of things that make me happy this is the make me happy scent but you just don't hear it talked about like that at all more on the mass appealing side of things of course you get the sweet and uh the, the sweet and spicy type of feel here but to me this kind of leans more on uh the sweet side with you know you get that pistachio that nuttiness that's uh in uh that's in this fragrance it really shines for sure especially as it starts to dry down uh, to the base of the fragrance but uh, a fun fragrance uh mass appealing scent like a lot of people uh will like this fragrance for sure i definitely think it's underrated you can get it for a really good price on discounters most of these you can get all of these you can get for a decent price on discounters for sure um but this stuff is good man i really like it personally from the house of victor roth we have spice bomb night vision edp edp really good release really good release that a lot more people should be talking about all right all right up next from the house of fragrance world we have mocha wood mocha wood as you can see there's a dent in this bottle so i got this bottle last year and i was blown away there's a chocolate and vanilla uh there's a, a spice to this as well this is my kind of um 
gourmand. I'm not really into the super sweet, sticky gourmand fragrances. I do like uh, my gourmands to have uh, some depth to them, uh, uh, some spice to them as well, something to kind of offset all of the sweetness and this is that. You definitely get this, like I said, chocolate vanilla feel, but there's a spice in here somewhere underneath of it all that blends it together very beautifully. So I really enjoy this scent. A lot of times, truthfully, I wear this around the house when it's a cool evening and it's just gonna be one of them nights. I might be up late, you know, doing whatever. And uh, I spray a couple of sprays of this on. I really like how it smells. And I have worn it out. I have worn it out before um, and it just pays dividends. You can get this for a great price for sure. But um, this is one to definitely consider uh, for uh, this upcoming winter, se winter season. And um, don't really hear any conversations about this fragrance. Uh, I think I've seen one or two reviewers discuss this um, since I've had the bottle. And uh, it's definitely one to look into, especially those who are into gourmands, but you're not into a sickly sweet gourmand. Look at this one. From the House of Fragrance World, we have Mocha Wood. Mocha Wood. Good stuff, love the presentation, love the bottle as well. Good stuff, all right? Up next, one that I got um, two years ago, and I think this is a 2020 release or a 2019 release, but I wore the heck out of this when I got it. You saw a little conversation when it first rolled out, but it's pretty much nothing these days, and it should be, so I'm here to talk about it. From the house of Pepe Jeans, yes sir. We have Pepe Jeans Celebration, Celebration gimmicky bottle shaped like a daiquiri or you know drink shaker or mixer or whatever but this stuff is good man it's a fresh and sweet and bright with a little depth to it there's a cacao note in here that really shines on my skin especially as it starts to dry down a sparkly citrus opening it keeps a freshness about it um the cacao note does come off as not a deep chocolate note but it's kind of like a uh, a sprinkle <laughs> like somebody sprinkled like little hints of chocolate on this thing and it, it really stands out so it has a lot going on um very easy to like in my opinion i think a lot of people if they get their nose on this they will like it um but a good release by pepe jeans is the only thing i have from pepe jeans even though i know they've had some success uh with some previous releases but um this stuff is good underrated no one talks about it you can get this for around 30 dollars on discounters and um it's something good for the winter time especially if you're just kind of moving out and about throughout the day maybe even something to wear to the office you know if you're trying to go to a party or something like that this definitely in my opinion would work all right so not too heavy but also not too bright it's kind of ha a happy medium between the two and um i enjoy it from the house of pepe jeans we have celebration celebration good stuff good stuff here all right and last but not least this at one point as well had a lot of conversation in the fragrance community but not so much these days every once in a while you'll hear something about it but i personally really enjoy this fragrance for sure i really enjoy it from the house of zadig and voltaire we have this is him this is him so a lot of you probably recognize this bottle if you've been into fragrances for a little while now you notice this bottle because there were some good conversations about it now this puts you in the mind of a nishane ani dna you get this grapefruit citrus you get this vanilla you get this incensey smoky vibe to the fragrance as well really comes off um uh for an et toilet because that's what this is yeah for edt this this comes off you, this comes off bang for your buck and what i mean by that is what you paying for you're getting a lot more than that on discounters this is around roughly 40 dollars but during the winter season during the colder air hey this stuff will shine this stuff will shine so if you're not looking for nothing too heavy but you are looking for um, um, uh, an opportunity to experience uh, a richness and uh, maybe a little bit of depth with a little bit of smokiness or a little spice to it. Looking at this one for sure. This stuff is really, really good. It's good. Like I said, it had a lot of steam at one point in time, but I personally haven't seen too much conversation about it. So now it's starting to become one of those underrated fragrances that um, I, de I definitely want to speak on and that's why I'm doing it, all right? So from the house of Voltaire, what is, it? what is it, Zadig and Voltaire, we have This Is Him. This Is Him. I really like this stuff, man. It's really good, really good, all right? 
All right, so my good family, so those are five fragrances that I deem underrated fragrances that you should consider looking to or maybe pull out of your collection closet if you haven't worn it in quite some time because I think they are, I know they are really, really good and it definitely can thrive in the colder weather for sure. All right, so let me know down below in the comments, Smell Good Family, have you smelled any of these fragrances? What's your experience with them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Am I tripping or am I on, like, am I on my own point? Let me know down below uh, in the comments for sure. And if you'd like to be the next member of the Smell Good Family, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and meet me down below in the comments. We can talk about what you love and what I love, and that is the beautiful art of fragrance all right so give me some suggestions down below what are some things that you guys deem underrated in the community um that somebody could look into and possibly uh add to their collection y'all let me know for sure all right so um until next time be cool be safe take care of yourselves splag it up splag it down splag it that thing all around and remember what you put out into this world is exactly what you are going to get back that's a fact scientifically proven but i don't have the facts for that i, I don't all right y'all y'all be cool Supplaco! <laughs>